All right, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to hide your API keys. And this technique is going to work, you know, with passwords. So if you want to log into a database and hide your database connections, or if I'm scraping that just requires a normal user um, <clears throat> ID and password, um, this technique will work. But in this example, I'm just going to show you how to hide your consumer keys and access token. But again, it's the same process to hide other passwords or other credentials. So to get started, we're going to use the YAML. So I know that I'm going to have to import YAML. So that's going to be the first step. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my keys over because I'm not going to have them being shown here. And I'm going to copy them for now. And if I go over here, this is the social credential.yml. You can name yours whatever you want. I just named mine this. And this is a file that's actually stored locally with my um, other notebook. And it's, so what I want to do is I want to have this for Twitter. I'm just going to comment Twitter just to remind me this is a Twitter um, credential. So I'm going to put Twitter down and then I'm going to paste what I have in there. So I need to take out the equal signs and just put um, colons everywhere. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then once we do that, what we're going to need to do is I'm going to take that space out, put it all together, come up here, and tab it over. So we have that all set up. So the next thing we're going to do is go over, back over to our, well, actually, I'm going to save this because I need to save it. But I'm going to go back over to our Twitter post, and then we're going to fix down here. So what we need to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to read in that file. So to do that, we're going to do creds, and that's my variable. You can name yours whatever you want. And then I'm going to do yaml dot load to load the file. But before I load it, I have to open it. And then this is where I put my file at. And I'll get my extension. And what this is going to do, like if you had this at a different path, you could put the full path up here. Um, since mine's just local, I just keep it up here. You'll see some people put a um, dot slash in front of it. That's okay too. Um, what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to put loader because we're going to use the YAML loader. And then that's going to read everything in. So the social credential is going to read the social credential file we just created. And then um, we're going to put it in credits. So the next thing we want to do is we want to access it. So um, how do we access that? Well, we named it creds. So creds, because that's what we read in right here. Now, we're going to put our brackets in, and where are we reading it from? Well, our creds, we're reading this Twitter. So this is why the addition is important. Um, I have Twitter right here. So I come back here and I'll just put Twitter right there. Then what part of Twitter am I trying to bring in? I'm trying to bring in the consumer key. So if I go back here, this is the consumer key right here. So I'm just going to paste consumer key right there. And now it goes from Twitter to consumer key. And again, if you look up here, Twitter, consumer key. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to take care of consumer secret, access token, and access secret. So 
for the speed, I'm just going to copy all this, which is going to be pretty simple. And then that was consumer secret. So this is going to be consumer secret. This is access token, access token. And this is access secret and access secret. So now if I go back here, we notice all these up there. Now, just for a little side bonus, if I had like, you know, I could do um, Facebook right here, and then I could do user ID equals this, right, for, of us, for example, and then password equals, equals my pass, and then I could put in, um, you know, my email and then I can do same thing you know UID equals T pass equals I don't know, I don't know. but anyway I'm just showing you that like we can put multiple credentials in here so we can actually use it for multiple items and I'm just gonna save it just to show you it doesn't make a difference that I have this in here but if I was going to tie this in a Facebook or tie it in my email, I could using the same techniques. So let me go back to my Twitter. Everything's there. Everything, <clears throat> everything's on. And hello, YouTube people from I'm going to go put from Python here. Um, just let you know that it was different. And if I go over here to my Twitter page, you see the last thing I have is my Word Traveler map up here so just to show you that this works I can just go sell and I go run all run everything in there and now if I go back to my Twitter and I just refresh it now take a second and then we have hello YouTube people from Python so in the future if I want to set there use this and show my coworkers or show a friend or show YouTube for that matter. And I don't want to black out my um, consumer keys or my secret, or I just don't want to redo them every time I show a notebook. We could do that just by hiding the keys because I don't need to show you this file in the future. I can just show you this file and show how everything works. And that's pretty much it on how to hide your passwords and your credentials or whatever items that you don't want your users to see. You can always create a YAML file, load it in, and we should be good to go. So if you like it, please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll have something um, useful for you guys in the future.